What's up YouTube? It's Verdix here bringing you guys another commentary and today this game is pretty sweet. I dropped two swarms. I go 84 and 1 and my death is within the last two tenths of a second in the game. So I was just thinking to myself like at the very end I was like alright it's less than five seconds. No one's going to be going for kills here. They're going to be done trying. Game's over. There's no way they can win. And then this kid is sitting there with a swarm and one burst the fuck out of me. So I end up getting a death. Uh, I don't really care though. Did end up dropping the two swarms and it was pretty nice. Let's go over my class and my setups real quick. So I'm using the M8A1 with Reflex, Quick Draw, and FMJ. And my perks are Flat Jacket, Toughness, Scavenger, and Tactical Mask. And I'm rocking the wild cards of obviously Perk to Greed and obviously Primary Gunfighter. So, uh, the reason for my... F uh, I should probably be using Ghost in this game because, you know, I uh, don't... Those UAVs can get pretty horrid in pubs. They're really easy to get, and everyone runs them. So, I'm pretty fortunate to be playing against some terrible kids in this game, to where they couldn't even get a UAV. Or maybe they were just too cocky and thought they could get above a UAV. Either way, it was pretty nice, and I was pretty excited when I got this gameplay. All I was thinking was YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And, you know, time to upload this for you guys, so let's get into the actual topic of the con- Alright, first of all, let's go into my score streaks here. Uh, I'm rocking the Orbital VSAT with Lodestar, and obviously the Swarm. So, most of the time, I would rock the Orbital VSAT with the Warthog and the Swarm, because while the Warthog is up in the air, you can defend yourself, and you're not just laying there helpless in your Lodestar, while someone could just sneak up behind you while you're, you know, in the little laptop. So that is the reasoning while I would usually use a Warthog. I'm only using the Lodestar in this game because I wanted to complete my killer challenges to get that sweet-ass Reaper emblem, or not emblem, but player card, which I didn't end up doing. I needed like eight rapid kills, or more than eight rapid kills, actually. I never got it. I don't know if you can use score streaks to get those rapid kills. If you do know, please inform me of it because I don't know. And I would really like that player card background because it's pretty sweet. So, as you can see right here, we got an orbital V set up and it's not even mine. I just got mine. That was actually my teammate and friend, uh, Zenith RB's orbital V set. And pretty much once we got that V set, I knew I was on my way to a gameplay. Because VSATs are so overpowered in this game, because they're just the same as Blackbirds in Black Ops 1. You can see everyone on the map, regardless of them having Ghost or, or whatnot. And then on top of that, you can see the direction they're facing, so you can know whether or not you're flanking them, or if they're actually watching the direction you're coming from. So, they are amazing, and if... Let's get... Alright, the topic of this commentary, by the way, is how to get a swarm. So let's get into that. If you want to get a swarm, you need to run the orbital VSAT. I mean, obviously, it's possible to get an, a swarm without using an orbital VSAT. I just like it a lot because not only does the VSAT show you exactly where they are, exactly where they're facing, and exactly when and when you shouldn't push. Because if you see a bunch of people, you probably shouldn't push them if they're all facing the same direction. Uh, it also gives you assists if your teammates get kills. So it's pretty awesome. It's really going to help you towards your kill streaks. And that is why I suggest the VSAT. And then the Warthog is what I would normally use other than this Lodestar. And by the way, this is the first time I've ever used a Lodestar. Uh, this is the first Lodestar in this game. And then this is also the first Lodestar I've ever used on this game. So if my accuracy is a little too bad and I'm not getting as many kills as you would normally see out of this, I'm sorry. First time I've ever used it. I don't really care though. Got my swarms anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, I mean, yeah, I know it's the same as a Reaper and I should somewhat know how to use it. But right there, yeah, it was pretty an ugly shot. But I don't care though, because once again, I got my swarms and I got both of them, actually. So, uh, and then obviously you're going to run the swarm as your third kill streak if you're going for swarms. So, that's my score streak setup. And now let's get into the actual play style and what you want to do while you're trying to get swarms. And the number one thing is going to be your um, your gun. You want you don't want to use a gun that you're not comfortable with. Don't use a gun just because you see some guy on YouTube uh, like me drop 84 kills with it or some other guy on YouTube maybe drop 100 plus with it. Uh, use a gun that you're comfortable with that you know you can win gunfights with and that you know you can pick kids off with at a, maybe a distance, depending on if it's an SMG. If it's an AR, you definitely want to be able to pick kids off from a distance. Uh, and right here, you see our orbital VSAT is no longer up, so I was just lost. I did not know what to do. Uh, so I just came over here and tried to pick any kids off over here, and there didn't end up being anyone over here due to my swarm killing everything moving. But anyway, back to the gun. 
Uh, just the tip is you you want to use a gun that you're comfortable with and that uh, uh, not someone else is recommended to you because they can do good with it. So use guns that people recommend to you because uh, people aren't going to recommend bad guns. Well, I guess trolls will recommend bad guns, but your friends aren't going to recommend bad guns to you. But if you don't end up liking it, don't just keep using it. Use a gun that you know you're comfortable with. Uh, let's move on to the perks. <sighs> so in this game, I'm using flash jacket, but I should definitely definitely be using ghost i mean ghost takes you off the radar like i said earlier and you know people core those uavs and ghost is a very nice uh advantage to have over them uh that's and then also scavenger you want to use scavenger because just like how you don't want to use a gun that you're not comfortable with you don't want to be forced to pick up a gun that you're not comfortable with because you don't have enough ammo so scavenger is a must when you're going for swarms that's a lot of points you need to pick up and you're not going to be able to get that within one life's worth of ammo. You're going to need a, um, you're going to need a, you're going to need those extra bullets from Scavenger, I'm sorry. Uh, but even if you were to pick up a gun, you'd probably run out of ammo with that before you got your swarm, so it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, like in this game, I picked up a PDW and I just switched between the two, uh, when it came to a long range or short range situation. If you are forced to pick up a gun, pick it up early in the life. Don't just go running after guns with only a knife after you run out of ammo, uh, because that's gonna get you killed. You're gonna just go running out into the open without a gun or any bullets to shoot someone with, and that's, you're gonna die every time. So, that's the second tip, and then the third tip of the day is going to be to know the map and know the situation. Uh, let's just take the VSAT for example, as I got it, so I guess it's a good time to do that. If I were to see three people, three, four people over there in that back corner where my teammate just died, uh, I wouldn't go push that. I wouldn't go push that area after I see all those people over there because it's not likely for me to win it. As you can see, I see five over there right now, so I'm going to cautiously move up there and pick off two, and then I'm going to move back. I'm not going to keep pushing them over there. Alright, so now that you see, I get that kill, and now I'm going to push back and try to use my load start, because, you know, I'm close to my swarm again, I don't want to die, so I'm just not going to take any risks, and I'm going to push back and get my load star in, so that I can get my swarm, and as you're going to see right here, I start to challenge that, and then I'm like, nah, I'm getting the fuck out. Uh, so that's pretty much the only tips I got for you today, guys, is to know the situation, don't challenge anything that you can't win, especially when you're close to a score streak. Especially, not only when you're close to a score streak, especially when you're close to the swarm itself. Uh, sit back and try to pick a kid off before you push someone. So, and then also you want to use those two perks, Ghost and Scavenger, and use a gun that you're comfortable with. But thanks for watching guys, if you did enjoy this double swarm gameplay and this flawless choke that I have here at the end, please drop a like on the video, and if you would like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. This has been Vertex, and I'm out. I'll fire away. Establish left hand orbit, 10,000 feet AGO. Hard point identified. Multiple movers with weapons. Hunter killer drone deployed. Swarm inbound. Friendly UAV inbound. Objective almost complete. Don't quit now. Hardpoint identified. Hostiles have the hardpoint. Hardpoint locked down. Sticky out!